Hey guys, I am planning for next year and I'm really excited and I like to have a little bit of structure so that when we are in the mode and we're going forward, I feel confident that everything is going to get taken care of. So I wanted to talk today about the planning that is not the daily planning. You know, I'm not talking about the specific things that we're going to be doing every day, but the things that we will do two times a month, basically. That's what we're going to be focusing on in today's video because these things don't come up as often, but they're important when it comes to not only the flavor of homeschool, but also kind of the, the overarching theme of what we're trying to accomplish. And that is the first thing that we're doing is have a theme. Now we've had a theme for um, the last two years, but the prior six, I never had a theme. We just went to co-op and did what we were supposed to do from co-op and, uh, and it was fine. And I don't feel like I missed out on anything by not having a theme during those years. I, it was fine. It worked. Now we've come here. I don't have nearly as much outside structure in our, in our homeschool experience. And so I find that having a theme is really important here because we're just so much more independent of any other group. So having a theme gives me kind of a purpose and a direction when it comes to what we're trying to accomplish during the school year. And we've been, we've had different themes and it's really just kind of focused on what I think is important during the year. I put a lot of thought into it. And frankly, I haven't put enough thought into it this year to even know what our theme is going to be next year, but I feel like we will have one and it'll come together and it'll be fine. Once we discover what our theme is going to be, I, I do run it by the family I bring it up in family meeting and we talk about, do you like that? And then we sort of finesse uh, a sentence together so that we are able to every single day say our theme that everybody comes up with and be clear on what it is that we're trying to accomplish. So this year, our theme is um, we know God loves us and we share his love by serving others. So the theme is really service, but I wanted there to be a sentence that kind of supported that idea. And so we say that sentence every single morning and then we will report, you know, who have you served in the last 24 to 48 hours to be able to make sure that it's not just a sentence that we say, it's not just some nice words that we cobbled together, but it's, we're supposed to be changing. You know, this is supposed to be something we're focusing on. And so every day being able to report, this is what we're doing for service in the last couple of days. Then in addition to that, this is what we did before. And I think we're going to do it again because it was just a really successful structure. Twice a month, we will do something about the theme. So that year that the theme was service, we did service twice a month. So then the second thing that we do in a semi-regular manner is field trips. And that's twice a month, we're going to do field trips. These are not connected to the theme. They're not even connected to what we're learning in school. They're pretty disconnected from everything. They're just whatever's happening around here, whatever looks cool, whatever I still haven't seen a, a reenactment of a battle down here. I live in the South. I really want to see this. I think that would be a really interesting thing to do. We haven't done that yet. I still want to do that. There's a battleship that I want to go see. We haven't been able to get to that yet. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do that has to do with living where we live. And it's just really interesting. Um, but it's really not connected to anything we're doing in school. And I don't think that's a problem. The kids love it. They have so much fun. They, they don't even know that it's not connected. They just have fun getting out of the house and doing fun things. So we do that um, twice a month. We're going to be doing field trips. And the other thing that we do that is not um, part of the regular school schedule is our project day. And I just bought my projects from littlerabbittrails.com or maybe org. I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I loved what they have to offer. I love their projects. It's so much fun. Very little effort on my part. Most of it at the beginning of the year during the summer, I will gather up all of the stuff that I need for whatever we do in that project. And it's just fun, uh, flavor, exciting, spice. It's all of those things that makes homeschool such a great experience for my kids. And so we do that once a week. We will spend a day just doing project learning. And that's a part of our schedule. So I know that we're going to have three days that are going to be focused on regular run of the mill stuff. We're getting all the reading, writing, math, history, all that stuff is happening in those three days. And then the remaining days, one is a project and the other one is either a theme I, you know, whatever we're doing for our theme or it's a field trip and knowing that that's what my week is going to look like. It just really gives me the freedom to be able to say, Hey guys, we're just really hitting this hard for two more days. And then we're going to go do something really fun. It keeps it exciting. It keeps it moving and it keeps it, um, focused on the things that are really important. So that's my planning for things that are not on the daily schedule, but are on more of a monthly schedule. I hope that is helpful as you are working through and planning. It can be a lot of fun to plan. It can also be a lot of work. And a lot of times I find that my plans don't show up in my daily life like I think that they will when I'm planning them. 
that's also okay. There, it's, it's just a journey and it's fun to figure it all out. You are doing a really fabulous job as a mom or as a dad. It's so important what you're doing and you're doing a much better job than you think you are. Keep it up, this stuff matters. And I will see you on the next one.